What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Black Rapper Beach is your response, and I'm back again with another one. I need you guys to do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification icon for more videos like this. That being said, let's get into it. You know, after the Earl Spence rematch, because I believe Earl Spence is crazy enough to activate the rematch, um... But the crazy part about that is the rematch might be at 154. So I don't know. I don't think Crawford will see 147 again. I mean, this is all public knowledge, but aside of me, just want really, really want to see Terrence Crawford humble Dryan. It's so bad. I want Crawford to humble Dryan. It's so bad. More than I wanted to. I want to see Crawford humble Jerrion is so bad more than I wanted to see Crawford suspense at this point right now. And I've been wanting to see Crawford suspense for five years, but not as bad as I want Crawford to humble Jerron Boots Ennis. I don't know where this guy got this newfound confidence from. He's never been barking like that before. But all of a sudden, he's acting like Crawford's ducking him, bro. What's going on in the spirit of box? This is unbelievable stuff. This is the same guy that was ranked number two in the WBO, refused to fight Crawford. When Crawford, you rank number two. The number one guy, Virgil Ortiz, says he don't want to fight Crawford. You're up next for a belt. And you got the nerve to leave the WBO by fighting for IBF IBF interim belt against a Karen. You go and you fight this Karen. And you look horrible against this Karen. Because you wanted to chase Earl Spence. You saw Sin and Earl Spence. When the entire boxing world should know what you was up to. You was looking for the easier fight. You didn't want to go through Crawford. You wanted to go through Spence and then come cash out to Crawford. You thought Earl Spence was going to give you a shot. And if there was a possibility you could beat Earl Spence, then you was ready to cash out against Bud. We know, we know what time it is, bro. We know what time it is. We ain't, f- and f- I'm from Philly. We ain't falling for the okie doke drawings. We not falling for it, bro. Let's be real. We, we not falling for it. We knew what time it was. You never wanted that fight with Bud. And like I said, bro, I wish Terrence Crawford can humble this guy so bad. I, re- I want to see Terrence Crawford versus Ryan Ennis more than I want to see Terrence Crawford versus Jamal Charles. That's where I'm at with it, bro. I want to see this guy get humble so bad. I recently seen an interview with Ryan Ennis. They try to compare this dude to Crawford. Crawford, who's already in an all-time great status conversations. They compare Jerrion to Crawford. You know what this kid said? You know what this guy said? <laughs> I'm nothing like Crawford. I'm better than him. We don't even fight alike. <laughs> that is the most disrespectful thing I've ever heard. I'm nothing like Crawford. We don't even fight alike. Yes, you're right. You're nothing like Bud. Y'all don't even fight him like. He's a better fighter than you. A better fighter than probably you'll ever be. And if you fight him now, he's going to crush you. All you bring to the table is fancy feet, flashy hands, flashy movements. Bud has better timing than you. He's smarter than you, better IQ than you. Better combinations than you. He throws better combinations than this. 
He's the all-around better fighter. He's compared as an all-time great. Better, way better instincts than you. Better killer instincts than you. If he, if we take Jerron Ennis from that Karen fight, and we put Terrence Crawford in that Karen fight, I want you guys to tell me, does Terrence Crawford go 12 rounds with Karen? If you guys know boxing, let me know in the comment section. Does Terrence Crawford go 12 rounds with Karen? Huh? Does Terrence Crawford go 12 rounds with Karen? Come on, man. There's levels to this boxing stuff, man. Jerron Ennis can't cut off the ring. He can't. We need to see, because right now, his career is being carefully moved. He has the goods. I will give you that. He has the goods. Does not... Does not mean he's completely seasoned just because he has the goods, meaning he has potential to be great, but he's not there yet. He's not there yet. What makes a guy great? It depends who you beat. And he hasn't beaten anybody yet, right? So he's not there yet. We can't consider him great. He hasn't um, done anything close to what Terrence Crawford has done. Or even Earl Spence, who's only a one-division world champion, but he's held three belts. Crawford, a three-division world champion, who's held more than ten belts. You know, um, Jerron just can't compare to that. You know, he can't. He just can't. But like I'm saying, bruh. I want to see Crawford humble this guy so bad. The crazy thing is, I'm from Philly, bro. I'm from Philly, bro. It's the city of Philadelphia. Brotherly love. A lot of y'all gonna come to the channel and say, how you hating on your, your own Philly, your own Philly native? It's not hating, bro. It's just that As a boxing fan, because that's what I am first. As a boxing fan, I stand on morals, integrity, respect, and all of the above. And I feel like Jerron is disrespected, but he has shown Earl more respect in all of his interviews. You guys can go back and watch his interviews. In every single interview, Jerron is, he seems annoyed when Terrence Crawford's name is being mentioned. The guy seems annoyed. Like, oh, come on, please don't mention this guy. Like, he see, he seems annoyed when Crawford's name is being mentioned. I really want Crawford to humble this dude so bad. And I want him to be, I want it to be worse than the Earl Spence Jr. fight. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I want, I want, if Crawford ever get in the ring with this guy, I want it to be worse than the Earl Spence Jr. fight. I want Crawford to carry this guy. For more than nine rounds, carry him for ten rounds, and punish him. I really want to see that. I'm not gonna lie. As a boxing fan, that's what I really want to see. Crawford punish this guy, seriously. And I'm gonna tell you why. I stand on morals, integrity, and respect. Jerron has shown disrespect to Bud Crawford because. He has followed the fans. He wants to be liked by these fans. And these these fans, and I'm talking about the Earl Sexuals, the PBC supporters. I'm talking about those guys. Jerron is, is following the fans. He wants to he wants to be accepted by the fans. He thinks it's okay to disrespect a guy like Crawford because the fans do it. You understand? When he does interviews, he shows disrespect. When his team does interviews, they show disrespect. I remember one interview, his freaking team was calling Terrence Crawford a sucker. His team called Terrence Crawford. His brother, they called Terrence Crawford a sucker, bro. I want this kid to be humble so bad, bro. Way more than the Earl Spence Jr. fight, bro. Like, I'm so serious. Man. Like, if boxing could give us this fight, 
It would be like my dream fight. I want Crawford to punish this guy. Punish this kid. And I want him to carry him worse than he did Earl Spence. Who are these boxing fans are going to go look for next? You keep jumping the bandwagon from one guy to the next. We knew you guys was going to do this. And Jerrion is going to let the fans set him up for failure. They're going to let this guy believe he's better than what he thinks he is. And he's going to get brought right to the slaughterhouse. They're going to set this guy up for failure. I'm telling y'all right now. I'm telling y'all. The boxing fans are setting this guy up for failure. He's never fought on that level before. And he wants to jump in there with the best pound for pound fighter. Who's still hungry, has a lot to prove, and always been doubted. And you're doubting him again. He said when he was punching on Earl Spence, he was thinking about every single person that was doubting him. You guys are setting Jerrion this up for failure. And the crazy thing, like I said, Jerron Ennis is falling for it, too. He's letting these fans get to his head. This is the same thing Earl Spence did. They put a battery in Earl Spence Jr.'s back, and they're trying to put a battery in Jerron Ennis' back. And Earl Spence believed the hype, and Jerron Ennis looks like he's doing the same thing. History repeats itself. They're going to put a battery in his guy's back. He's going to believe the same thing. And when it's fight night, <laughs> it's going to be a different story. <laughs> he's going to get in that ring with Crawford and he's going to realize, damn, there's levels to boxing. There's really levels to this boxing stuff. I underestimated this guy. And yes, he does underestimate Crawford, just like Earl Spence did. Just like Jerry and his team is underestimating Crawford. He's underestimating Crawford, and it's going to cost him. And I really, really want this fight. I want this fight so bad. Because Jerron is, is sounding like Earl Spence. He's under the same delusion as Earl Spence Jr. You understand what I'm saying? If Crawford gets his hands on this guy, I want it to be... Worse than Earl Spence Jr. fight. I want it to be worse. This fight should be personal. But Crawford is a nice guy. He's not nice when he's in the ring, but outside the ring, he's too nice. You understand? He should have been peep the disrespect from this kid. This kid's been disrespecting Bud. Every time he does an interview, he gives Earl Spence Jr. credit. Every time they ask him about Bud... He has something negative to say. It's disgusting behavior. Very disgusting behavior. His team takes this stuff to the next level. I want Crawford to use all of that as motivation. Go in there and punish this guy. I want Crawford to punish this guy. When I say punish, I mean punish this guy. You understand? I don't wish nothing bad on anybody. But this fight should be per this fight's personal for me. I wish it was personal for Crawford. But Crawford said the uh Jamel Charlo fight is personal for him. It is what it is, guys. Your boy Easy Room. And I'm out. Till next time.